Welcome to this training on how to use Google Meet as a first time meeting participant. Using an unfamiliar virtual meeting tool for the first time can be intimidating. This training is intended to help first time users of Google Meet understand the settings of Google Meet. If you are expecting a meeting invitation from Utah Medicaid and have not seen the invitation in your inbox, check your spam folder. Review the invitation to make sure it is from an at utah.gov email address. If the invitation is found in your spam folder, mark the invitation as not spam. Meeting information and functionality in the invitation. Select a reply option which includes yes, no, and maybe. There are a few options on how to join a Google Meet meeting at the appointed meeting time. The first option is to click join with Google Meet from the email. The second option is using the meeting link. Copy and paste the meeting link into a browser URL address field, preferably in a Chrome browser. The third option is to join by phone. In your telephone, enter the telephone number and at the designated prompt, enter the associated PIN. Before clicking, join now. Test the following settings on your computer, microphone, speakers, and video. Test your microphone by selecting the microphone button. Select your desired microphone and speak to see if the microphone meter is responsive to your voice. You can also test your audio by speaking to see if the audio wave meter is responsive. Test your system audio by clicking the audio button. Select your desired audio system and click test speakers. After clicking, test speakers, a short musical audio clip will play. If you are unable to hear the musical audio clip, select another audio option until you hear the audio clip. To test your video camera, turn your camera on and click the video button. Select the desired camera and click make a test recording. Click, Capture and Diagnose. Say something to test your audio and video. Click the Play button to check your video and audio. Repeat any of these processes to set a more optimal audio and video setting for the meeting. If your computer has no audio or microphone, you can use your phone for audio. Click the Join and Use a Phone for Audio link. Select either the call me option and enter your phone number and click call me and join or the dial in link to get call in information. Before joining the meeting, a best practice would be to mute your microphone. Mics can be unmuted during the meeting as needed. After testing all your settings, click join now. Let's discuss the meeting control buttons that you may need to use during the Google Meet meeting. The bottom center, meeting control buttons, which include the microphone button, the camera button, closed captioning, share screen, raise hand, more options, leave call. The bottom right, meeting control buttons, which include meeting details, the call attendees and invitees, chat, activities including polls, and Q&A. The microphone button. When invited, turn on your microphone. When speaking, double check to make sure that your mic is turned on and the audio meter displays audio waves. After speaking, turn off your microphone. The camera button. The camera button turns on the video camera of yourself. When joining the meeting, your camera button can be turned on. Audio is not included when turning your camera on. Captions. If desired or needed, the captions button can be turned on. Depending on the quality of the audio of those talking in the meeting, captions in Google Meets are reliable in delivering the text content of the speaker. Share screen. Present now. When invited to share your screen, click the Present Now icon which is in the shape of an up arrow. Select a tab from the Chrome tab, or click Window and select a browser window, or click Entire Screen to select a screen. 
Once an option is selected, click Share. To stop presenting your screen, click the Present Now up arrow icon, or click Stop Presenting in the upper right hand corner, or click Stop Sharing at the top of the screen. The Raise Hand button. The Raise Hand functionality can be used when the leader of the meeting opens up the meeting time for any questions. Click the Raise Hand button. The leader of the meeting will call on you. Be sure to unmute your mic to ask your question. Once done speaking, lower your hand by clicking on the hand icon and then mute your microphone. More options. If you experience issues with audio or video quality during the meeting, click More Options which is the vertical ellipses icon. Select Settings. Under Audio Settings, select a different microphone or speakers as needed. Select the video settings to change cameras. Troubleshooting and help. For help when trying to diagnose meeting issues, select troubleshooting and help. Review network stability, system load, and audio and video devices to troubleshoot any connectivity or poor quality issues in the meeting. Polls. If the leader of the meeting sends out a poll question, it can be found under Activities. Click Activities. Select Polls. Select your answer. And click Vote. Q&A. To ask a question, in the Activities area, select Q&A. Click Ask a Question. Enter your question. Questions can be asked anonymously. Click Post. That concludes this training on how to use Google Meet as a first-time meeting participant. Thank you for watching.